Alright, welcome back to a video of Damien's phone collection. Today I'm going to be doing my August 2022 phone and tablet collection. I have about 11 phones and 3 tablets. I am recording on my new main phone, the Motorola Moto E6, that works perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever. The newest arrivals were the LG C1300 on Singular and the Samsung HDH A107 on AT&T. It's going to be freaking epic. Now let's get on to the video. So starting with, this is my LG C1300 on Singular. This one's untested. Next up is my LG Rumor Touch on Sprint. It works perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever. Next up is my Samsung SGH A107 on AT&T. It works, but it is dead right now. Because I don't have a charger for it right now, and I have a dead battery in it. So once I get a charger for this thing along with the LG C1300, it will be a perfectly working phone. And it will save for the last. Right now, I don't have a SIM card for this phone right now, so I'm going to get a SIM card for this phone as well. Next up is my Pantech Breakout on Verizon. It is missing the SIM card slot, but otherwise it works perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever. Next up is my Motorola Droid Razor HD on Verizon. It works, but it is in bad shape, so I'm going to be destroying it once I get these two flip phones to work. Next up is my BlackBerry Classic on AT&T. It works, but it has a bad IMEI, so I'm going to also be destroying it when I get these two phones perfectly working. Next up is my Samsung Galaxy S7 on Verizon. It works, but it has a bad microphone and also a bad camera. Next up is my Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit on track phone. It works perfectly fine, except the ads appear and it takes me to an internet app in Google Play Store. This one will go for a drop test when I get the next phone. Next up is my Orbit Journey V on Verizon. It works perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever. Lastly, for the phones, this is my LG K31 Rebel on track phone. It works perfectly fine, except it's slow, though. Now, let's move on to tablets. We are now in tablets. Starting off, this is my iPad first generation. It works, except it has a bad home button. The video got paused because of the storage. Next up is my iPad 2, which works perfectly fine but the power button just automatically presses by itself whenever I try to get the iPad and last but not least this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 inch 2019 it works but the headphone jack does not work anymore like here that one I tried to plug in my headphones and the headphone jack just stopped working before I unlock the working devices, I'm getting a new MP3 player in my collection, which is the iPod Nano 6 generation. New video on that coming soon. Now let's unlock all of my devices now. The Samsung Galaxy S7 is dead. There's the assistive touch on the iPad 1. The battery is low on that tablet anyway. Now that's going to do me with my August 2022 phone and tablet collection. This is Davian's phone collection. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you again in my next video.